At Commerce Bank's new office tower in downtown Clayton, the latest addition to the bank's corporate art collection was installed in November of 2023. Titled A Thousand Ways, A Thousand Years from Horizon to Horizon, it's a two-panel, abstract, mixed-media landscape. Los Angeles-based artist Shanique Smith was commissioned by Commerce to paint it. We decided at the outset it was going to be a painting, and um, I knew where the work would be housed and what kind of scale we were going to have. Uh, the idea of the space it would inhabit and the space the canvas that I was going to create influenced me and the decision making it because it was going to be a long horizontal and a landscape. Commerce's executive vice president and chief financial officer, Chuck Kim, was part of the team that determined who would be awarded the commission. We took uh, proposals uh, from artists all over the United States, uh, shortlisted it. They made presentations to us um, uh, about their ideas uh, for uh, the specific placements within the new building. And uh, Shanique uh, stood out from all the rest, both from her commitment to wanting to know about us and to produce a work that fit Commerce Bank, um, as well as just her engaging personality and her, her approach. As part of her artist residency, Smith spent several days visiting important landmarks that define the St. Louis region, like the Gateway Arch National Park and Cahokia Mounds State Historic Park in the Metro East. She went to cultural institutions, like the Missouri History Museum and the Mildred Lane Camper Museum on the campus of Washington University. Then there were the Commerce Bank employees Smith met touring some of the branches and administrative offices. Some of those staffers even contributed to Smith's painting. I put out a call and I asked them for pieces of fabric or articles of clothing that meant something to them and asked them to write a little something. Not everyone did the assignment full on. I didn't get writing from everyone, but I got really interesting stuff and they're all integrated into the work. So you see everything from pieces of dresses and ties that people have worn to little cardinals for the St. Louis Cardinals, all kinds of things embedded in the artwork. It's really cool for people to see that their contributions became a part of this beautiful piece of art. Smith documented the creation of A Thousand Ways, A Thousand Years from Horizon to Horizon in a time-lapse video. The painting was completed in 2022 and placed in storage until its new home was ready. The artist said she works on several projects simultaneously. And speaking of other projects, if you went to the St. Louis Art Museum for the 2023 Hip Hop and Contemporary Art Exhibit, you likely saw this Shanique Smith painting. It was created in 2002 while Smith was in graduate school. She titled the flowing work of acrylic on vinyl, Shorty Sugar Honey Baby, Don't Be Distracted. I was really into Public Enemy at the time and there's a line in one of their songs called, uh, um, it's Rebel Without a Pause. I was obsessed with that song and the line goes, from a rebel it's final on black vinyl. And so I've made a whole series of work on vinyl. I could drape it, I could mold it. And um, this is really the first time I've shown the piece in, in a long time. Smith's more recent work for Commerce Bank joins an extensive corporate collection that was started more than a century ago. For Chuck Kim, it's a welcomed addition. Oh, it's fantastic. And I've been fortunate to have seen it evolve over time as, as Shanique went through her process. And the final piece, we loved it all along the way, but the final piece was even better than we could have imagined. As for the artist, the commission has piqued her interest in the St. Louis region. This was a catalyst for a lot of things, not just the great migration, but, you know, ancient times with the mounds, builders and native cultures here, the Dred Scott case here, the music Scott Joplin, rock bands that came from here. Josephine Baker was born here. 
The idea of connection and community is pervasive, and I'm interested in knowing more about it. For Living St. Louis, I'm Ruth Ezel.